Picture this. This storm cloud represents your body's cortisol. Just as a storm cloud releases rain in response to environmental factors, your body releases cortisol in response to stressors. When stress strikes, the cortisol storm cloud looms, releasing its raindrops of cortisol into your bloodstream. Now, let's shift our perspective. Imagine a floodplain along a river as your belly fat. This is where excess rainwater collects and forms pools. In our analogy, the floodplain represents your abdominal area. As cortisol rains down, it begins to accumulate in the floodplain, much like water collecting in low-lying areas during a storm. This accumulation represents a storage of fat in your abdominal region. But what happens when the storm cloud, cortisol, persists? If it continues to release rain, cortisol, for an extended period, the floodplain may become overwhelmed. In our analogy, the overflow corresponds to the development of visceral fat, which is associated with health risks. So, what's the solution? To prevent the floodplain from expanding and causing damage, you must clear the skies. This involves managing stress, just as you might manage a storm cloud by implementing stress reduction techniques. Clearing the skies helps prevent further cortisol release and allows the floodplain to recede. To begin, let's demystify cortisol. Cortisol, often referred to as the stress hormone, is a critical player in our body's hormonal symphony. It is primarily produced by the adrenal glands, two small glands located just above your kidneys. Cortisol's role is intricately tied to our body's stress response. When stressors, whether they be physical, emotional, or psychological, enter our lives, cortisol springs into action. Think of it as the body's built-in alarm system. It helps us cope with the demands of these stressors by mobilizing the necessary resources. But cortisol isn't a constant presence. It follows a diurnal rhythm. This means that its levels naturally ebb and flow throughout the day. Typically, cortisol levels are higher in the morning, providing us with the energy to start our day and gradually decrease as the evening approaches, preparing our body for rest. Stress, an inevitable part of life, is a key trigger for the release of cortisol. When we encounter stress, be it a looming deadline or a challenging life event, our body's stress response system goes into action. This response involves the famous fight or flight mechanism, a term you may have heard of before. It's an ancient survival strategy that prepares our bodies for immediate action in the face of danger. Cortisol plays a pivotal role here. It helps release glucose into the bloodstream, providing our muscles with a quick energy boost, sharpening our senses, and temporarily dampening less essential functions like digestion. However, chronic stress is where things get tricky. While cortisol is incredibly useful in the short term, prolonged and excessive stress can lead to a continuous release of cortisol. This chronic elevation in cortisol levels can have detrimental effects on our health, both physically and mentally. Now that we've explored the basics of cortisol and its relationship with stress, let's turn our attention to how cortisol and belly fat are intertwined. First, it's crucial to introduce the concept of visceral fat. Unlike subcutaneous fat, found just beneath your skin, Visceral fat resides deep within your abdominal cavity, surrounding vital organs like the liver and pancreas. This type of fat carries significant health implications, as it has been linked to a higher risk of heart disease, diabetes, and other metabolic disorders. Cortisol, our stress hormone, plays a prominent role in the accumulation of fat in the abdominal area. When cortisol levels are consistently elevated due to chronic stress, it promotes the storage of fat in this visceral region, Think of it as cortisol directing the body to stockpile reserves for the perceived emergency of ongoing stress. But cortisol's impact doesn't stop there. It also has a say in what you eat. When cortisol levels are high, it can lead to increased appetite and cravings for unhealthy, calorie-dense foods. These cravings, often for sugary and fatty snacks, can further contribute to weight gain, especially around the belly. Moving on, we'll take a closer look at the scientific mechanisms that underpin the connection between cortisol and weight gain. When we talk about cortisol's influence on metabolism, we're essentially looking at how it orchestrates the allocation of energy resources within the body. Cortisol is like the conductor of a metabolic orchestra, 
directing various processes to ensure that the body can respond effectively to stressors. The first is muscle tissue breakdown. One of the key actions of cortisol during stress is the breakdown of muscle tissue, known as muscle catabolism. This process is initiated to provide the body with an immediate source of energy. Think of it as dismantling parts of a building to obtain building materials for a new structure. Cortisol signals the release of amino acids from muscle tissue into the bloodstream. These amino acids can then be converted into glucose through a process called glucogenesis. Glucogenesis is a vital metabolic pathway where the body generates glucose from non-carbohydrate sources, primarily amino acids from muscle tissue and glycerol from fat. This glucose serves as a quick and easily accessible energy source during times of stress. However, this process comes at a cost. The continual breakdown of muscle tissue to provide glucose can result in muscle loss over time, which may contribute to a slower metabolism and reduced muscle mass. Individuals with cortisol disorders like Cushing syndrome often experience muscle loss due to excessive cortisol production. Cortisol not only accelerates muscle protein breakdown, it also inhibits muscle regeneration. This leads to muscle atrophy, particularly in the arms, legs, and trunk, resulting in muscle weakness and reduced physical capacity. Not only that, but cortisol's actions extend beyond immediate energy release. Elevated cortisol levels can disrupt normal metabolic functions. For instance, it can impair insulin sensitivity, making cells less responsive to insulin signals. This can lead to higher levels of insulin in the bloodstream. Elevated insulin levels can promote fat storage, especially in the abdominal region. Cortisol's role in promoting fat storage is complex. While it encourages the breakdown of muscle tissue and the conversion of amino acids into glucose for quick energy, it also enhances the storage of energy in the form of fat. This is partially because cortisol increases the release of fatty acids from fat cells into the bloodstream. These fatty acids can then be taken up by fat cells in other parts of the body, including the abdomen, and stored as triglycerides. Now that we've explored the intricate ways cortisol affects metabolism and fat storage, here's something intriguing. Cortisol levels increase when you lose weight. Yes, you heard that right. The very act of creating a caloric deficit and shedding pounds can cause your cortisol levels to rise. But what does this mean? And how does it factor into our understanding of cortisol and belly fat? Let's break it down. Before we dive into the paradoxical relationship between cortisol and weight loss, it's important to understand how we can measure cortisol levels. In this section, we'll explore the methods available for assessing cortisol in the body. There are primarily two methods used to measure cortisol levels, blood tests and saliva-based cortisol tests. Blood tests offer a precise measurement of cortisol in the bloodstream while saliva tests provide a non-invasive option by analyzing cortisol levels in saliva samples. However, it's crucial to emphasize that obtaining accurate cortisol assessments should involve consulting healthcare professionals. They can ensure proper testing protocols are followed, interpret the results correctly, and provide context for individual health situations. Now let's address the conundrum of cortisol levels increasing during weight loss. This seeming contradiction highlights the multifaceted nature of cortisol's role in the body. Cortisol, the stress hormone produced by the adrenal glands, can increase when you are in a caloric deficit due to a complex interplay of physiological responses. Here is an exploration of how this occurs. First is the stress response activation. A caloric deficit occurs when you consume fewer calories than your body needs to maintain its current weight. This energy shortfall signals to your body that it may be in a state of scarcity or stress. Even though you are intentionally creating the deficit for weight loss, your body's stress response mechanisms can be activated because it interprets the calorie shortage as a potential threat to its survival. Next is cortisol release. In response to perceived stressors, including the stress of a caloric deficit, the body releases cortisol. Next, after that, is glucose mobilization. As we mentioned before, cortisol plays a role in mobilizing glucose from various sources in the body, including the breakdown of muscle tissue, muscle catabolism, and the conversion of amino acids in glucose, glucogenesis. This glucose is released into the bloodstream to provide a readily available energy source during times of perceived scarcity. While cortisol's primary role is to mobilize glucose, 
It can also influence fat metabolism. It can lead to increased lipolysis, which is the breakdown of stored fat into fatty cells. Some of these fatty acids may be converted into glucose through glucogenesis, providing an additional source of energy. However, this process is not entirely efficient, and some of the fatty acids may be reabsorbed and stored back as fat, contributing to fat retention. Cortisol can also affect your appetite and food choices. It can lead to increased cravings for high-calorie, sugary, or fatty foods. This can make it challenging to stick to a caloric deficit, as you might find yourself giving in to those cravings, which of course can hinder weight loss efforts. Now, it is important to note that while cortisol increases during a caloric deficit due to stress response activation, the increase in cortisol is typically temporary and doesn't necessarily hinder weight loss progress. In fact, some cortisol release is just a normal part of the body's response to calorie restriction and exercise. Now we'll explore practical strategies for managing cortisol and reducing belly fat. First and foremost, effective stress management plays a pivotal role. Incorporating regular exercise, relaxation techniques, and mindfulness practices into your daily routine can help mitigate the negative effects of chronically elevated cortisol levels. These strategies not only promote overall well-being, but also contribute to our healthier body composition. In addition to lifestyle changes, certain health supplements, such as ashwagandha, have gained attention for their potential to reduce cortisol levels. You may want to look into how ashwagandha can be a valuable addition to your stress management toolkit. Moreover, it's crucial to underscore the importance of obtaining a good night's sleep for cortisol regulation. Maintaining a consistent sleep schedule and ensuring you get sufficient rest can play a pivotal role in normalizing cortisol rhythms and bolstering your body's ability to manage stress. If you haven't already addressed any sleep issues, I highly recommend taking steps to do so. You can find more detailed insights on this topic in our dedicated video, where we explore the various sleep cycles you experience during a typical night and offer practical guidance on optimizing your sleep schedule for the best possible rest. Finally, dietary adjustments and healthy eating habits can further mitigate cortisol's impact on fat storage. Understanding the interplay between cortisol, nutrition, and lifestyle choices can empower you to make informed decisions for a trimmer waistline. For that, we recommend watching our Five Foods That Reduce Your Cortisol Levels video. It shares with you many simple additions that you can make to your eating habits that can help lower your cortisol levels over time. Your stress and your waistline will thank you.